Let's get out of the Bible. You're right. You're on point. Let's get out of the Bible. Psalms 14. Clothes that pertains to the man. Yeah. Read on. 
Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So are you telling me that Jesus Christ died so a man can wear a dress? It doesn't matter now. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't Would you put a dress on on your son? So what are you saying? So why would you want other men to wear dresses? What are you saying? That's what Christianity has done to our people. That's what Christianity has done to our people. You can proudly stand here and say, we don't have to keep God laws. You can proudly stand here and say, we don't. That is madness. Give me Matthew 19 and 16. Matthew 19 and 16. The sisters proudly say it. I'm going to show you something. 20 years in the Christian church, and you don't know that women should be wearing pants. You don't know God's princesses must have a dress. I know that they say that women must not wear pants. Come and show you something. But God will not judge you by that. And the old one came and said unto him, But Master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Everybody on the planet wants eternal life. Right. What do you have to do to get us eternal life? Yeah. Let God speak. The past of the life of centuries. Let God speak now. Read. Right. And he said unto them, and he said unto him, Why call this love me good? There is none good but one. Christ is giving all praises to his Father. Right. Hear what he says after. Read. That is good. But if thou will enter into life, if you want eternal life, if you want the kingdom system, keep the commandment. What? Keep the commandment. What? Keep the commandment. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. That's what the Bible said. That's what Christ is saying. So how can you come and say now we're not under the law? Who should we believe? Should we believe you or should we believe the Son of God? So what the Son of God says? Go back to Deuteronomy 22 or 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertain it unto a man. The woman should not. That is a law. If you want eternal life, this is what you have to be following. Read it back. The woman shall not wear that which pertain it unto a man. The woman should not be wearing clothes that pertain to a man. Pants. Simple. Pants of women is a new thing in the earth. It's that simple. It is madness and confusion. Right. For all that do so, all the women that wear pants and the men that wear dresses, read, are abomination unto the Lord thy God. You are detestable in the eyes of the Most High God. And there's a judgment for it. Get the judgment, says Naomi. Get the judgment. This is what the Christian church don't teach you because guess what? The Christian church is all about what you want to hear. Not what God says, what you want to hear. But the days of God is done. The sons of God wake up in the earth and we're going to preach the truth. Right. Read. And then shall come forth. It shall come to pass, meaning there's a time in the future when this is going to happen. Read. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day when the Lord's going to be doing a lot of killing. Read. And I will punish the prince and the king's children. That Christ will punish the prince, the sons of Jacob. Read. And all such are clothed. And the daughters. That I will punish the prince and the king's children. The daughters as well. Read. And all such are clothed. And everyone that's clothed. With strange apparel. Men, women in, in pants, men in dresses. Read. That's what the Bible says. So you want to escape that judgment? Get out of the pants. Right. That's right. Put on That's a right. beautiful dress. Give me that first Timothy 2 and 9. You understand what we're teaching, sir? You understand what we're teaching? I'm going to be on TV. First Timothy 2 and 9. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Read. In like manner also. You believe in the New Testament, right? This is the New Testament. Timothy is in the New Testament. Let's see if dress code still applies. In like manner also. In like manner, sister, read. That women adore themselves in modest apparel. That women.
women adorn or decorate themselves in modest apparel. Right. Guess what? If you come to a printing, you're not modest. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Hate it. Hate it. Read. Where's the shame? Where is this? And the variety. pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. 